This is the ICOM VHF Marine Transceiver, the ICOM ICM1V. Uh, it's a handheld uh, marine tr receiver transceiver. Uh, it receives and transmits uh, from ships, boats. Uh, you're supposed to have a uh, ship registration in order to transmit on it. It's a uh, lightweight uh, antenna receiver and it uh, transmits really well and it actually receives well as well. Uh, so it's a uh, you got your up and down where you can change the channels on it. You can automatically go to either channel 16 or 9, or nine. the 9's above it here. Uh, if you press it, you'll go to 16. If you press and hold, it'll go to 9, which is your calling channel. And 16 is also the safety calling channel. It has a channel weather here. You can go to the weather channels. M of one foot. Okay, Badge and then you can change it, the different channels, the different 10 different weather channels are programmed into it. You'll notice it also says... Uh, U-I-C there. That's United States, International, and Canada. So when you press and hold, see if you can see that. It says Canada up top left-hand corner. And then if you press and hold it, it changes to USA. If you press and hold again, it changes to International. Those are different channels uh, that he says. So I'm going to set it back to... USA. Okay. It also has the uh, DW button here, uh, which is a dual button. And it also, if you hold it, it says try right there. It'll uh, receive try. So, what you'll do is if you're uh, operating on 65, for instance, which I'm on right now. I can set it up to that if somebody else starts talking on another channel, it'll switch to that channel. Same thing with the try, it'll monitor channel 16, 9, and then whatever you're on. So dual will go to 16 automatically if somebody starts talking, and it'll monitor the channel that you're on. And then try just does the opposite. It, it'll go to 16 and 9 if somebody starts talking, and then it'll also monitor the one you're on now. It's got a scan feature on it, this button here. And then a tag. So if you want to tag a channel, you just press and hold it for a couple seconds. And the word tag will show up above the number there. Uh, and then those channels will get tagged. You won't scan every channel. You just scan the channels that are tagged. It has a high and low frequency here. It will go all the way down to 1 watt. And then you can actually set it to 500 milliwatts if you want to. And then if you press and hold that button for like 2 seconds, you can lock everything on here so it won't automatically change anything you'll still have access to unlock it and the push to talk button and the squelch button the push to talk button is on the side here and then this opens the squelch right here the button below it okay up top you have the antenna you have the on off switch is the top portion of it and the bottom portion is the this is the squelch and then you have a uh, speaker and microphone that you can hook into here as well it's got the, uh, obviously most of them, I think all the handhelds have an internal speaker right there. And it's got good sound that comes out of it. And the battery is rechargeable. Uh, you just sit it in the charger, and those three prongs connect, and it charges from a normal wall wart. Uh, overall, it's a pretty good radio. I've had it for a couple months. Uh, and uh, I scan several frequencies when I'm down near the ocean or hanging out at the beach uh, in Hawaii. So uh, I don't talk on it. I did transmit it to one person just to make sure it did transmit. I don't talk on it though. I have a ham radio license, but uh, I don't on a boat or ship. So according to the instructions manual, that uh, the way I read it, you're supposed to have a boat or ship to uh, have it registered to order to to talk on it. So I don't talk on it. I just monitor it. Uh, and then uh, my call sign on the ham radio side is KH6OWL, Kilo Hotel 6OWL in Hawaii.